What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and today we are going to reuse this old WatchGuard XTM5 appliance as a router using OpenSense. So let's get started. These are the hardware we are going to need. A USB card reader, Cisco console cable, serial to USB adapter, a CF memory card, and a Phillips head screwdriver. Link to all this hardware in the description down below. Now let's head over to our laptop so we can create our CF bootable memory card. Let's open our favorite browser and let's type OpenSense. Usually it's the first link on the search result page. After the website has loaded, let's click download OpenSense. Let's choose our architecture, in this case is AMD64, and our version is serial. We can choose the mirror that is closest to where we live. In my case, I'm going to choose United States, New York, and let's click download. Let's, let's save the file. Let's wait for that to download. A little bit fast forward here. Let's open our container folder and let's decompress our disk image. And let's open Rufus. Let's choose our disk image. can go ahead and plug in our CF memory card reader to our USB port. Let's insert our CF memory card. And now we're ready to prepare our bootable CF memory card. Let's click start. Let's click OK. OK again. Let's wait for that. And we are done. Now let's take our CF memory card out from the card reader and let's open our WashGuard XCM5 appliance. Usually there's three screws on the back and there we go. The unit is now open. This particular unit has a solid state drive so you can run your operating system. It's usually the best choice in this case because it will last forever. Now we prepare our Cisco console cable and our USB to serial adapter. We plug in the Cisco console cable to our console port and on the other end to our USB port on our computer and switch the unit on. We open PuTTY. After PuTTY has opened, Let's verify our communication port from our USB to serial adapter. In this case, it's COM4. Let's load our WatchGuard XCM5 profile and let's change our communication port and let's click OK. Now our console window has opened and we can see that the unit is booting up. After the unit has booted up, to trigger the installer, we type in installer in the login prompt and password is open sense. Very straightforward. Click select. OK. OK. To select our hard drive. OK. And the process will start copying the files to our new hard drive. OK here. And now the unit is going to restart. After the unit has booted up, let's connect our LAN cables so we can access the web configurator. Click properties. Let's make sure 
we get an IP address from the HCP. There we go. We have an IP address assigned by our, our DHCP server. And we can go ahead and open our browser. So we can open up our web configurator. Our default IP address is 192.168.1.1. We get a uh, certificate security risk. We click advance, accept the risk, and now we have the login. Our default username is root and the password is open sense. And there we have it. We have a fresh install of open sense. The wizard does pop up so we can go ahead and fill up the the, the primary and secondary DNS servers. In my case, I use Google DNS. Let's click next. Let's use our time zone. In my case, it's uh, Santo Domingo, America, Santo Domingo, or minus for UTC. Let's click next. And let's click next here. Click next. Let's change our default password. I decided to leave the same password just for this uh, test. And let's click our main dashboard. There we go. Well, there you have it guys. OpenSense running on WatchGuard XDM5. If you found this video helpful, please give a like, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for future videos. Thank you for watching, I'll see you on the next one.